Hello everyone. So today I'm, uh, as usual, I make videos with uh, architects I do respect like you. <laughs> we are at uh, Portland State University in the United States and we are with Professor Juan Manuel Heredia. Ah. Uh, yeah. You are the head of the, uh, the faculty of uh, School of Architecture. Yeah, uh, I'm the director of the School of Architecture. Yeah, I've been the director for a couple of years only. A couple of years. So uh, you study basically in uh, undergraduate studies, undergraduate studies in Mexico, right? Yes, I studied in Mexico City. That's my hometown. Okay. Uh, and you just told me about the famous architect Luis Luis Barragan. Luis Barragan. You yeah. know, you were asking me about yeah. what was the, who was the most famous architect in yeah, Mexico. I yeah. And I, I, I think everybody would agree that. It's probably him, ah. Luis Barragan. Luis Barragan. And uh, I was impressed today by, uh, before meeting the professor, uh, I went to the uh, upper floor. I saw students still drawing by his hand. And uh, I mean like uh, the uh, uh, old school tools. And then I, when we talked, they told me in your school you insist that students should keep learning how to draw. Mm -hmm. Right? That's your philosophy. Yeah, I mean, especially for the beginning courses, courses. beginning studios. Uh, we not only encourage, we actually demand that the first studios are just hand-drawn. Uh -huh. uh, the computer, many of the students already come with some knowledge of it That's or right. some uh -huh. good knowledge sometimes. Mm -hmm. So for us, it doesn't really represent much of an issue. Uh -huh. It's gradually embedded in the, uh -huh. in, in the, in the years as they advance in the, in the program. I see. So yeah. How about, uh, you know, uh, af af students and then they usually they graduate, uh, or become architect. So is it, how to say, is it difficult to become an architect in the, in the United States to practice architecture? Well, uh, we offer two degrees, one non-accredited degree, uh, the Bachelor of Art or Bachelor of Science in mm -hmm. Architecture. And students that graduate from there do not receive a degree as architects, mm. but as bachelors of architecture, bachelor. but still they can work in architectural offices, mm. uh, collaborating the design process as mm. uh, drafts persons or mm. any other activity like that. But our two-year masters of architecture is a professional degree, which mm. is the accredited one. And that is the one that allows students to pursue a license ah, and see. practice as an architect officially. An architect. Ah, I see. Yes, uh, to get, for example, I'll tell you them. Uh, in in Japan, to be I'm just comparing because uh, to be able to practice, you need to uh, pass a national exam. They call it the first degree uh, license architecture. It's very difficult. Once a year, and they just take two from two hundred one hundred person. They take just two. Mm -hmm. Difficult. How about in the United States? You did, you did to be a member of the uh, or to be uh, to have license. a license. Yeah. yeah. Well, one first has to ha pass several exams mm -hmm. in many different fields. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the fields that architecture always comprises, right? But also, one has to have experience mm. in offices, uh, experience hours of experience. Hours of experience. So mm. I don't have the numbers at this moment, but mm. it, it it takes a few years for yeah. them to eventually I get see. a license. Yeah. And do they need recommendation as well? Recommendation from architects or no? No, no, not really. It's oh. a, uh, the body that accredits uh, or uh, gives licenses to. Um, graduates from mm. our program or any license uh, or accredited program mm. um, are uh, national. National. Ah, national. Yeah, and they also have chapters in every state. Mm, so they're the ones who just administer the exams. Ah, I see. Yeah. And is it, is it, it doesn't need rec recommendation. Is yeah. it difficult to pass these examinations? Yeah, well, because I'm not a practicing architect in no, this yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
But they tell me that you know one has to study at least. No. I don't think it's extremely difficult. No. If one is a good student, one will have the tools yeah, already. To, okay. and, but one only needs experience. Mm. Yeah. I ask you because you have much more experience than me in the United States. It's my first time to yeah. come here. No, but yeah, but uh, yeah. in a way, I arrived to the directorship only recently. Mm. I see. And in a way, unexpectedly, mm. my field of... Uh, um, specialties, architectural theory and history. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah, although I practice in Mexico, in my home country, ah, yeah. um, it was, these past years has been a process of learning. Ah, oh, yeah. You know, many of the yeah. uh, logistical processes to become a licensed architect. Ah, yeah, we, we learn all the time, you know, especially, you know, the, the, the most, of, it's, it's not easy to when you change the context of your country. So the system is different and, you know, anyway. Uh, Let's go back to pedagogy and uh, in the, in your program, which is the most important class that you? Uh, of course, you know this design and crafting, right? uh, yeah. crafting and design, right? Yeah, well, um, I think it, that's the case in many schools of architecture. Hmm. There is one special course, which is the design studio, the design studio, yeah. um, around which the other classes orbit, orbit, yeah. um, and it's a class that happens three times a week. Three times a week. Three times a week for four hours. Four hours. So it's not, of course, a lecture class nor Mm. a seminar. It's a workshop, basically, where the activities could be from pin-ups or desk scripts, as they call them, Mm. or whatever other... Sometimes students, and I do this very often, I take students down to a classroom, and because I teach history, I I just show historical examples that could... um, Inspire them. Yeah, of course, without history, without understanding, you can't inspire. and you know, in for example, in I, in Japan, I don't, I'm not sure. I was I was I was uh, teaching uh, introduction to architecture and architecture planning, mm-hmm. uh, not really into architecture theory, but you know, I, I believe architecture theory is the basis of everything. You you, you have to know what other people did. Yeah. You have uh, you, the problem in Algeria. We have. I mean, you have design studio. It's like twelve hours a week, mm-hmm. like two days, six hours, six hours. But but the problem, other classes, other um, credits, credit writing, yeah. they are not connected. They, every teacher teaches his own way, yeah. and we couldn't connect them. How to? Yeah, do no. Well, um, the, uh, what we try to do here mm. is to understand the design studio as, as the place where all these other uh, pieces of knowledge ah. get synthesized. Synthesized. Yeah. And to do that, what we try to do is that all of us, all the full-time faculty. We're a small school of architecture, really, we're 11 yes. the faculty, but each one of us teaching one speciality in the field, whether structures Structural. or urban studies or, yes. or, or history or theory, like yes. me, all of us mm. teach studio because yes. all of us are architects by training. Ah, yeah. And mm. in that sense, I think it's more easy for that knowledge to, you know, find a place in the design that they're doing. That's good. Yeah. You know, one uh, among the ways to, to ensure this all, uh, be, uh, we have all to de- teach a uh, design studio. I found in the school in which I was studying in Japan uh, that you, you don't have like a class that you teach every year. Uh, in a design studio, you have to, uh, to uh, design like an exercise for students. You teach one month, after, um, for example, I teach this, uh, this month or two months, and you just, uh, when they finish, they make the uh, evaluation. It's your turn. Uh, uh, there is a schedule during the, I mean, uh, we, uh, all the teachers design each design studio for each year. I mean, you, you just design, um, how to say, uh, exercise, mm-hmm. maybe two weeks, or one month, and they, they, they organize it for one year. I mean, each student will, will, will be checked by all the teachers. I mean, ah, that's not interesting. Yeah, they, I, I did. I, I they like, don't have a dedicated instructor. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can have yeah. that, you know, plethora of teachers, yeah. varieties. Yeah. And, uh, and I tried it once in Algeria. Just, it did work yeah. once. Yeah. And then, the, you know, yeah. people, you know. Yeah, the, you know, the situations are always different. The different, cultures yeah. are sometimes different. This is what I did like. And because teach, teaching is very important. Without a good teaching, it's, it's difficult to become a good architect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, how, uh, the last question: Your uh, uh, you research archite- uh, theory of architecture. What's uh, can you, uh, for example, about your doctor thesis? Or what did, did you? Okay, say? yeah. So that's good. Uh, <laughs> I'm interested I, in I, that. Uh, I studied architecture. I practiced architecture in in Mexico, but I was always inclined to teaching in academia, academia. In general, and also research. I like oh. I like reading a lot. Oh, good. Perhaps I, 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 like, see. <laughs> I, like, I like reading more than uh, than, than writing. Uh, 
So I went to do a PhD in the East Coast, in the city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. And uh, that PhD was, it's often thought as a PhD in architectural history and theory, but it is really, one looks closely at the program, it's a PhD in architecture. Ah, PhD in architecture. Period. Ah. So, um, so it's not a PhD in history, although my choice was to pick a, a, a historical subject. Ah, I so I do, did research on the work of a German architect that went to Mexico oh. in 1939, 1939 and stayed there for the rest of his life. Ah. Uh, his name is Max Chetto. CETTO, he's not very well known, oh, okay. I um, uh, but he was very important in mm -hmm. Mexico. You were mentioning at the beginning of the interview the name of Luis Barragan. Ah. Uh, him and Barragan were very close ah. and actually collaborated together. I see. But uh, Cheto, uh, once he immigrated from Germany, where he did some important work mm. in Frankfurt, uh, basically dedicated his professional life to design single family houses ah, single family. and some public buildings but ah. mostly uh, residential family. work but the important thing and that's why i became interested is that he wrote i wrote and he was a good thinker so designer thinker yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I i i learned his name i will make yeah. our research later yeah. thank you very much no you're welcome thank i you have last much. question sure. about social housing you know the uh, the uh, that chileno uh, architect who got the Pritzker park Aravena. Criticizing you know. that particular project that yeah. became very famous. Yeah, I, I've seen how it um, has evolved during yeah. the years because the idea was to build half a house. It seems yeah. like, uh, yeah. and then the owner or the would. inhabitant would have completed, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, the pictures. I haven't been to Iquique, no. where, although I have a very good friend there. No. Um, don't seem very inspiring. Oh, I see. I, I I like some of the other work that he does, I see. especially the public work, public work, yeah, which probably because it has more funding, no, I see. Uh, it's it looks. I don't know. I don't know even how to uh, call it like of, of better quality. Over quality. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you know uh, these prices. Sometimes there are there politics. There are yeah. some, you know. <laughs> By the way, I mean I. Uh, now that you mention, um, and there's an architect from that same town. Yeah. He's from Chile. Chile. He's a very good friend of mine. Oh, yeah. And he does also social housing. Oh, I see. But I feel that it's more grounded in the culture oh, of okay. that area. Er, What's area. his name? His name is René Mancilla. René Mancilla. I, Mancilla. I, I will... I will there's, there's, he's also very little known, but there's some articles, some of them which I wrote. Oh, I can, the, he has a website, right? No, he's not on the website. He doesn't oh. have a website. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. But, you know, the, he has some uh, work published especially in uh, certain journals. I wrote one for a Danish magazine once. Oh, I see. I can just show it to you. Ah, please, yeah, please, yeah. please, please, please. Right. I will write his name so uh, right. people sure. will know about him. Uh, well, thank you very much for your time. No, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sorry. And uh, it was nice meeting you. And I'm very, very happy with people for your kindness and your, uh, how to say, way of welcoming me. Thank no, you very thank much. You very much. <laughs> thank you, you very much. Bye. Bye.